So I've got a little problem here. I'm tuning my violin. I'm checking my strings. And my G is flat. My G string is flat, but my fine tuner is all the way down. Is you're going to need to loosen the fine tuner out, and then you're going to need to turn the peg. So here's what we're going to do. This is just something that happens. It's going to happen in the pandemic. If you're in school with a teacher, very often students will just hand the instrument to their teacher. They'll do this themselves. But what you do is you loosen this G peg all the way down like this. Now you can take, you don't want to turn it all the way till the, the, the uh, screw loses the uh, grooves come out. So you just want to go out there. It's pretty loose now, but now I'm all the way down to an E flat. So what I'm going to do, and I'll show you from the side, I'm going to hold it while I turn and I'm going to pluck continuously while I look at a tuner. Pressing in while I turn, and remember, just going not even one notch, see that just slipped on me, not even going one notch on a clock face will bring it up. There it is. Now I finally got it up to a G, but it's still slipping a little. I gotta press it in. I've got my right hand anchored against the neck, so I can really get that, get that in. And I'm slightly flat there, but then I can turn my fine tuner and bring it up. This week I want to show you what I call grade two tuning, where you turn the fine tuner while you bow. So you want to bring it into position, and you want to drop your bow on the string and Let's tune, I'll tune the A string. First. I've got an A sustaining. And then I'm going to drop my bow onto my A string. And I'm going to play in the upper half of the bow up here. And I want to play softly because it's easier to hear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my left hand underneath and place it on the fine tuner. And you need to kind of reach around, make sure you're on the right one. You can make it flat by loosening it. And you can bring it and match it. Now of course you can do the same thing by having the tuner on a on a needle setting where you can see where it'll tell you when it's in tune. A couple things about this procedure is you want to try to play with even speed and weight. Don't turn the bow around too much, not like this. Every time you change direction on the bow it distorts the pitch a little, so... Uh, the other thing, even speed and weight out at the tip, softly, is you want to um, encourage students to turn the fine tuner quickly and turn it while you bow. Some students get into this thing where they bow, then they turn the fine tuner, then they bow, then they turn the fine tuner. Turn and bow at the same time so you can actually hear the pitch change. And once you get there, now, one of the things that I do encourage you to do at this stage, I'm going to stop this A, is listen for the perfect fifths between the strings. I'll make the D real out of tune. So you can hear it, that's... And 
you can um, so at this at the beginning stage you'll change the, the sustain pitch for the students to tune to so we'll tune to an A then I'll put on a D we'll tune to a D and put on a G we'll tune to a G and we'll go all around uh, eventually of course we'll be tuning all of our strings just to an A so since you're going to be tuning uh, alone at home most of the time or in a practice room the tuner where where you can look and you can see now the tuners are calibrated to to uh, tempered fifths right which are two cents smaller than pure fifths so if you if you tune something that sounds like a gorgeous fifth on your instrument and then you check it with the tuner you may discover that it says it says you're flat a little bit flat like between the strings but if you want to tune it to the pure fifths just by listening you're more than welcome to do that too and I, I encourage both practices because eventually you will be tuning in an orchestra where you just get the A and you'll have to tune all the strings okay I will see you soon